okay so the dutch flag problem is given this sequence of integers we want to rearrange them so that uh, we have a sequence of negative integers followed by a sequence of positive integers now they need not be sorted all we want is a sequence of negatives followed by a sequence of positives right so the way we do that is uh, we start with uh, keeping track of two indices i and j actually we track where i is pointing to and compare that with j so i is initially at the left side the leftmost index which is 0 and the rightmost index where is where j is pointing to so now what you do is you every time you check what is the value of the integer where i is pointing so here i is pointing at index 0 where you have 12 and check whether that integer 12 is positive or negative so we consider anything above um, or equal to greater than or equal to 0 as positive and anything less than 0 as negative so 12 is positive so if it is positive what we do is we kind of swap a of i with a of j so you move 12 over here and bring the 0 over here so now we are sure that there's at least one positive integer on the right side so j uh, no longer points at 7 we reduce it or move it to the left so j is now pointing at index 6 but i is still at index 0 so in a particular iteration either move i to the right or move j to the left okay so we now in iteration 1 move j to the left so j is pointing at index 6 and i is at 0 so now check what is the value of the variable at index where i is pointing and it's also a zero so zero is considered positive right so you swap zero where a of i with a of j so you put zero here bring your five from here to here right so since uh, zero is positive so j moves to the left so j is now pointing at index 5 and i is at 0 so now 5 is again positive so swap it with negative 27 negative 27 comes here 5 comes here and you reduce j so j is at index 4 so now you compare index 0 and index 4 so it is negative 27 which is less than 0 so you leave it as it is and move index i so i is now pointing at 1 okay index 1 so now you really compare um, what is the value of the integer where i is pointing so this is negative 7 so negative 7 is again less than 0 so if you happen to have a negative integer just move the index i so i is now pointing at index 2 right so this is where i is pointing and j is pointing still at 4 so now come what is the value of this integer i is pointing to an integer which is 1 so 1 is greater than 0 or greater than or equal to 0 so 1 is positive right so what you do is swap 1 with negative 17 so negative 17 comes here and 1 comes here so what you do you move j to the left so j is now pointing at index 3 so now compare this with this uh, sorry not compare just what is this um, so this is negative right so negative we just leave it as it is and move i to the right okay, okay. <clears throat> so i is pointing at 0 at index 3 j is also at index 3 okay let me make sure from here so i is at 2 this is uh, j is at 4 so check the value of i uh, where i is pointing to this is positive right so this positive so you swap with negative 17 where j is pointing and bring negative 17 over here and one comes here this one comes here and you move j to the left so j is now moved from index 4 to index 3 so now check where is the value of i uh, the index uh, where i is pointing so this is negative 17 which is less than 0 so you leave it as it is and move i to the right so i is pointing at index 3 and j is also at index 3 so you really uh, check what is the variable here so 0 compared with 
we'll check whether it's positive or negative it's positive so really swap it with itself but it is a swap according to the algorithm and that makes you to move j to the left so j becomes 2 and i is 3 so once j becomes less than i that's the time you really stop the algorithm right so how many swaps we have made here we have made five swaps in seven iterations so this is one two up to seven so five out of seven five swaps in seven iterations so the percentage number of swaps we have made is 71.4 percent now when we would have a situation of no swapping no swap will occur when the input array always has already a sequence of negatives but even if there's one positive we end up swapping right so if all elements are like negatives uh, <coughs> so if it is like negative one negative four negative three negative two then we just move j is always here we just keep moving i right so once <coughs> I becomes equal to J or even when you try to move I towards the right further you have hit the end of the array but if there is a negative uh, positive integer like this then what you end up doing when I is over here and J is over here you end up swapping Phi with itself right so that is one swap and then move J to the left which then J is pointing a negative 2 I is still at 5 so J is less than I in terms of the index so when you have the list of all negative integers then that's the best case you don't do any swap you do the worst case number of swaps which is like if you're given an array of eight integers as you see here you do seven iterations so if all the iterations involve swapping that happens if all the elements are positive right so if you have all positive elements say one four three two then you really swap them, move them around even though you have the condition already satisfied that the array has a sequence of negatives followed by sequence of positives but you have to still run the algorithm so if you run the algorithm what it will be take it as a practice so i is always at the left index right so you swap so this becomes this is where j so j is at um, so i is at 0 j is at index 3 so that's what it is Oops. let me see if I can use this thing okay. right so okay so let's see right so i is at 0 j is at 3 so now you kind of swap them oh sorry you want to work with uh, what was the 4 2 doesn't matter 1 4 3 2 Okay, so this is the input array for you. So now you subject this to the algorithm. What you do in iteration one. Is you check one is positive. So you swap with where J is pointing to. So this is where J is pointing and you kind of move j towards the left right 
So now again check in iteration 2. Check in iteration number 2. What's going on here? This is positive, so it's swap. So 2 comes here and 3 comes here. So J is moving to the left, right? And then what you do is iteration number 3. This is positive, right? So you really move 3 over here and 4 becomes here. And this is where J becomes equal to index I. So then you really don't need to do any swapping because I equals J. But if you want, you can do one more swap, but it's there, right? So you see every time you end up in doing a swapping. So that's why if the array has, uh, so this is the final array so even though it started with this it comes out to be like this so if the array has all positives then you end up doing the worst case number of swaps right